Hello everyone. So um, one of my weekly messages. Uh, unfortunately, that this uh, one will actually happen over the weekend, which I'm sorry for that. But at the same time, I promise to do this uh, every week to keep a bit on track what goes on, which for me is, uh, is important. Uh, today, I also will be joined by Andrew. Andrew, as you know, is our you know, building solution head for the group. So he will probably give you a little bit more detail on what goes on on, on the BU level. First of all, once again, I, I hope you're all taking good care, you're staying safe, you follow your recommendations and then also we have to be careful we're not uh, spreading or maybe listening to too much uh, misinformation out there because there's a fair amount of, of that going on. Uh, what have we been doing as a group during this week? Uh, we have had our, we call them bi-weekly because we normally do them every other week. We do reviews with all business units. The reason for doing that is, of course, to understand what goes on, what is the outlook of, of the group. Uh, fortunately, uh, when we look at May, June, it looks quite a bit better than what we actually planned in the contingency planning. If you remember, the contingency planning was 40% lower than the budget, and we probably for May, June, clawing back 15-20% uh, of that. Uh, at least for Eastern Africa. Southern Africa is still a bit closer to the, the conservative curve, and uh, you know we anticipated that. Uh, the economic climate was already earlier quite difficult in, in, uh, in Southern Africa. Um, I want to thank you all for, you know, you continue, you know, to, to show good, uh, you know, good motivation, commitment, despite the very difficult situation. And uh, I actually also believe that, you know, we have a lot of things going when it comes to opportunities. Some of it set, set in our strategy when you look at the building solution, the launch of the PB, you know, what we were doing on channels to market, continue to train our people, and of course also work a lot with our operational efficiency on our manufacturing side. Uh, we saw early this year that many of these things started to reap some benefits, and um, uh, I think that once things normalize, we'll be able to come back and, and uh, gain from these opportunities. Yeah. So um, with that, I think uh, I will actually hand over to, to Andrew to give a few comments on, uh, you know, what actually goes on out in the markets. And uh, also then in the end to, to wish you a, a good a weekend. Uh, and also, you know, you take good care of yourself uh, and all the best from me and not only me, the whole the group management team. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, very good morning, Safo family. I'm privileged to take a few minutes just to give you an operational update of what's happening around the group. So it's the last day of the month, and like many of you, it probably feels like three months. That's how I feel. And such is the rapid rate of change we've had to deal with in the last month or two. And I'm extremely proud uh, about how, through the business leadership, and through all of our people on the ground, we've been able to adapt our operations so quickly in dealing with the new world we find ourselves. I think I'd touch on two or three points. The first being the tenacity, the commitment, and the never give up approach of people across our group. And if you look today, the last day of the month, I worked out there'll be 25 to 30 sites operating, loading the last, bundle of steel, manufacturing the last bundle of steel and invoicing the last bundle of steel to squeeze the lemon out of everything we can uh, in these tough times. And on that note, we had a review this week of the business continuity plans. And it's, it's really pleasing uh, for the senior management that in nearly all cases, in all countries, we are actually doing better than what we predicted in May. Now, of course, it's early days and the months ahead are going to be very challenging. Things are going to change and we're going to have to adapt quickly. But I think it's the fact we can be nimble, flexible, and we can focus on the task at hand as a group that will drive us to succeed through this period. I think the second point uh, I'd make is we're in this together. I have the privilege of, of talking to most of the businesses every week. And I guess on the ground, some of you feel like, you know, things are worse in my country, things are worse in my place of work. What I can tell you is everyone is in this together, talking to our banks, our suppliers, 
talking to each of you, yes, the challenges are different, but at the same time, we're in this together. In East Africa, we have logistics challenges. In Ethiopia, we have shipment challenges with material. In Southern Africa, we have lockdown challenges and site access challenges. But at, at the end of the day, they're, they're all just short-term challenges and it's how we deal with them that is going to help us succeed. And, and that brings me to my other point, which I think now more than ever, our one SAFA, one company approach is critical. The businesses operationally are sharing information very well. It's not time to compete, it's time to communicate. It's time when you find a new way of doing things, when you find a more efficient way of doing things, share that, share that across the group widely, use Yammer widely, and please tell us the good news stories because everyone also needs a little bit of positive news at these times. I think the last point is really about operationally taking care of each other. You see, COVID is not selective. It's like any injury we experience on a plant. It's like any other illness. And I think one of the things we're working very hard on now is how we're going to be operationally secure. This means each of us has a responsibility in our behaviours, in the workplace each day, to follow guidelines, follow the new way of working, if you like, um, which for many of us will be a challenge. But if we adopt the processes, if we adopt the practices, and if we follow the rules, we can keep our, our sites operationally secure. And remember, at the end of the day, that's very important, not just for the business, but for our customers and for our stakeholders. So with that, I thank you. I thank the leadership. Again, let us not lose sight of the fact that we are one company, we are one group, and let us work together to keep exceeding our business continuity targets, to keep addressing the challenges. And as I say to my people, let us work the problems. The problems will come, but if we work the problems one by one, we will usually find a solution and we will usually find a way to come out of this even stronger than what we were before the new world came, uh, came into place. Thank you and uh, have a good weekend. Stay safe and best of luck for June and the months ahead.